So I'm going to give you an introduction to shockwave therapy for musculoskeletal purposes. This is a radial shockwave machine, you can also get focused, but predominantly for musculoskeletal issues, you will just use a radial machine. So it's a handpiece like this, the digital readout, the actual machine compressor itself, and with this one I've actually uh, extended my budget slightly and gone for the um, tablet on top of it, which helps me to uh, put all the settings in there and record patient data, and it really does tell me everything that I've done with each patient. Um, shockwave therapy. You might have heard of shockwave therapy because you've heard it used on Achilles tendons, plantar fasciitis, maybe tennis elbow, maybe the odd shoulder. I'm going to tell you now that you should stop reading some of the old science. Back in 1980, 1990, even, even 2000, some of the research papers were perhaps not so positive about the use of shockwave in musculoskeletal environments. It was first used at the Olympics in 1996 in a musculoskeletal setting and subsequently it's gone on and on and in places like Germany and Australia and Switzerland they've been using this, they're way ahead of us in the UK. So be careful about some of the old timers in your clinic who might be telling you that shockwave is a fad and it's, it's something that uh, doesn't work because they have not looked at the modern day research. Okay? Shockwave I use in my clinic about 10 times a day. I'm probably using it more than most, and the reason I'm using it so much is because it really does get people better quicker. So I'm not just using it on the Achilles tendon or plantar fasciitis or the elbow or the shoulder, I'm using it on muscle tears if appropriate. We're using it uh, in terms of the V-actor, which is more of a massage to break down tissue. This works also a little bit like a TENS machine and can uh, change the, the nerve impulses that people are thinking. I'm using this in a very deep way on piriformis syndrome, I'm using it on lower back and with a different adapter I'm using it on the thoracic and even up to the cervical spine. There aren't many places in actual fact that I won't use shockwave if appropriate. Now the guys in Germany are even using it at half time for the elite level German football players. They're using it in a prophylactic way, they're using it on an acute injury. So again, dispel those myths where you've heard that you can only use shockwave if you've failed two conservative types of treatment. It's just not the case. You need to engage with this piece of kit. Stop thinking that it's something that consultants use. As therapists, we're able to use this equipment, as long as you've got a denomination HCPC or, or something similar, um, and you can use this on your patients. Usual thing, a, a, a slight form just to make sure that you've got the person's consent, you've done the medical history, but then really, provided that people conform to the fact they're not on any anticoagulants, they don't have a pacemaker, they don't have an active cancer, they're not pregnant, some of the usual things. But I can tell you that the list of contraindications for shockwave is less than it is for massage or medical acupuncture or spinal mobilisation. People are worried about it, it's loud, it makes a noise, it's a little bit painful. But I can tell you, the patients I treat absolutely love it. Members of my clinical staff, when they hear someone is going to sign up for some shockwave, they breathe a sigh of relief because they pretty much know that person is going to improve, if not get fully better. Later videos, we're going to go through the techniques to use on some of these common injuries. But if you do nothing else, go to the PowerPoint section on shockwave look through the pathophysiology, get yourself into a brain space where you're opening your eyes to accept this technology and don't be put off by the price of it. I'm going to do another video about the way in which you can make a very healthy business model out of this as well and have your machine paid for within three to six months of purchase. So don't let that put you off and don't let the fact your patients think it might be expensive put you off. You'd be surprised what people are prepared to do when they're going to get better quicker and have a better overall end result. Think shockwave before you think of many of your other treatments that you use today. Thank you.